Hello everyone and welcome to No Man's Sky. I decided to return to the game after about two years of absence because it has had many major updates and I wanted to check out what has been going on. I got the game on release. I wasn't too upset about it because I didn't know much about it, frankly. I didn't know any of the promises that were made or anything like that business. But here we are starting a new save. This was during a live stream and we'll just go with the live stream audio for most of this video. And I started off on a frozen planet that we ultimately decided to call Ilum. And I wound up on an interesting planet. I'll say no more because that's actually in the next video, so it's a spoiler. But this video will cover my exploration of Ilum and just starting out the normal starting out stuff in No Man's Sky. And the next video will be more focused on the world that I set up my base on. And you'll definitely see why that was a worthy planet in the next video. But anyway, for now, we will go with the exploration of Ilum, the fixing of the ship, the normal beginning business, and the original livestream audio. Do we have a deer? That is a two-legged deer. Well, we have to repair the scanner before I can name it a two-legged deer. So, oh, we need ferrite dust for repairs. Well, repair scanner damage. So this all starts similar. And I need sodium quickly. I'm getting cold. Go on, sodium. Okay. Need more sodium. Well, I'll get the O2. That's probably gonna be important soon anyway. Okay. That uh, is probably the ship. Well, we need more sodium. Ah, that still happens. Do you have sodium? No, you're oxygen. Wait, I see. Oh. They were only yellow from a distance, they stopped being yellow. See, those are all like yellowish in the distance and then stop being yellow. I think we should just go to the ship to get thermal protection, but... I don't know. Can I get there in time? Oh, there's some oxygen stuff around this place. Oh, there's a little... I just need to get into the ship for thermal protection. Radiant pillar. It's always the radiant pillar. Atlas connection, intermittent, launch thrusters offline, pulse engine offline. Find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of it before, but this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Connect exosuit. Log. Exosuit connected. Suggestion pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Well, there's only one. Okay. Well. Let's do those things after we get fully protected here. This isn't as good as Hoth though, we don't have Ewoks. And no trees either. Okay, metal plating for which we need more ferrite dust. Launch thruster. That's pure ferrite. Okay, that's not what I want. Pulse engine? There, uh, metal plating. Then Hermetic Seal. Okay, vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Yes, I know. We needed the Hermetic Seal. Alright, yes, I remember this part. Okay, now we go to access the Distress Beacon. Boundary separation failure likely. Sentinel Intervention. Darn Sentinels. Okay, broadcast, I guess. 
Traveler Anomaly Detected. Compliant. I don't like being called compliant. Or an anomaly. Okay, take planetary chart. Fine, plot route. Okay, we've got a place to go. Well, let me move a window. There we go. Alright, off we go. Sprint depleted. I need to work out. <laughs> I know I'm gonna need the hydrogen. Uh-oh, not a blizzard. Uh-oh, sliding down. Please let there be buildings. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how long this goes. Oh, that's, oh, those are ships. Last time they were building was at the location. I think there are buildings there now. Need to get there. Problem is my sprint being depleted. I don't have much stamina. Uh oh. Come on. Uh, this is not a way in. Ah. Get up there, get up there. All right. Ah, it's warm. Encrypted navigation data. Hollow archive. Mostly corrupted. No one making this recording, leaving behind in the fabricator, might be of some use. Pfizer damage, can't find ship. Oh, I'll take the supplies though. Hermetic seal, okay, so that's what we were looking for again. As the last time I started a new save. First aid. Health is at maximum. Well, okay. I need carbon nanotubes. Okay, storm is clearing. So, carbon nanotubes means we need carbon. There's O2 there. We should always pick up O2. And there's a lot of H's. There's an O2 there. No carbon. But there's the plants that have carbon. You're a carbon plant. I need you so that I can get an analysis visor so I can name you. It's complicated. That's a lot of carbon. We got a lot of carbon from those things. Okay. Now we've got an analysis visor. And so, we can get down to naming things. That is an ugly, ugly... ...thing. I don't even know what to name that. It looks like a monkey, sort of. But with a hump. Uh, no, that's not how we name things. No, that front end does not look like a monkey. Humped Zebra of Doom. Humpty Back Weasel. Oh, I'll take that. That thing is gonna try and kill me anyway.
I don't need to... Well, I mean, I guess I do need to locate my starship eventually, but... We need to explore more. How do I make that... Then we gotta jump... Things. How do I make the terrain manipulator? Oh, they don't even have that blueprint available. Cheats. <laughs> They're hiding things from me. Alright, fine. I'll go to my starship. I've located my starship. Those are all Atlas Pass things. This has the rusted material. Oh, the exosuit has a lot more capacity in this uh, in normal mode. Totally the Mandalorian. We need a Mandalorian skin. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, whoop, no, that's what I wanted to do. That's a decent looking thing right there. It's got eggs on its top, but... That's a Saurus. That looks more like a Saurus. Gosh, they made us go a long way. To try and maybe slide into that pit of doom. Okay, that still only replenishes the thermal protection. So I need to put the oxygen into my suit. But. Now when we harvest the stuff, we get a whole lot more of it. So that is convenient. Um, pulse engine. We did that. We got that. Now we've got a pulse engine. It gives me triumphant music. And now we need to get that pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. And oh, well, we need whatever it takes to get the portable refiner done. So... We need metal plating. Well, that's easy. Let's get more ferrite dust. Well, there's a little bit of glowing blue over there. Dihydrogen glows blue for whatever reason. No, that's just a burnt out capsule. Hydrogen. But that's those are the big blocks that I can't take without... Uh, Special advanced tool. Yep, advanced mining laser required. Oh, wait, wait. Are you... Oh, this one isn't. Even though it looks the same. I swear the hydrogen... was easier to get... in the survival mode. Unlike... Uh, most of the other resources... they come in at the hundreds in this mode. Okay, we need a little bit more. I don't suppose that egg has dihydrogen in it. Nope, probably not. But it's something worth selling, I bet. Frozen tubers. Okay. I've, I've got a name. Um, you are the... Watersaurus. What do we call that? It's got one of those cute faces. And it's winged, but it doesn't actually fly. Of course, one good thing about this over arc is that it's space, and I like space, so... I do have that bias. Okay. We have a portable refiner. We will need carbon in there. We need... Well... We need ferrite dust and then we can get pure ferrite. Okay, so I need to craft the dihydrogen jelly. Can we reach? Yeah. And so put the dihydrogen jelly there, put the pure ferrite there. And we're all repaired. Doesn't have a tutorial per se, but it has the here's what you need to do to get going part. Um, and so the beginning, very beginning is fairly linear. Now, I saw a monolith around. And there are other sentient creatures too. But it's not multiplayer the way Ark is. 
while they have a multiplayer mode, it's not as extensively multiplayer. So you're going it's mostly you and the universe. So keep that in mind. That's an that's Whoa, it's got funny legs. No, I already got this one? Oh, that's another Humpty back weasel. It's got but it's got scales on the back now. I thought the Humpty I guess they come in two flavors, one with scales on the back and one with one without. Oh, I guess I should identify that plant. I promise to identify it. Okay. Oh, stones over here. This is a source of copper. All right. Wisdom or the Corvax. So we're in the Corvax area. Stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. Robotic life form turns towards me. Light steams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me, and I accept knowledge that says... I have learned the Corvax word for Corvax. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think that was the only one around here. So... Can I make a terrain manipulate? No, not yet. I guess we'll have to wait for that part. What should we call this world? Ilum? So that's the system. Wami is where we are. Wami is not a bad name. Ugh. Ilum. A Yaware Sawa. <gasps> We're in a system that somebody else discovered? This was discovered five years ago by Zex Drug Lord. Wait, but Zex Drug Lord discovered this system and that world, but didn't discover Ilum. How's about that? Or those other two planets. So we get to complete the discovery of this system because Extra Drug Lord just went went right through. Okay, that's that ways. Okay. Okay, we have achieved orbital flight. So RT is the flight controls. I've I've accomplished this. Why does it not Acknowledge that I tested... Okay. Boost is B. Okay. We have demonstrated warp technology. Now... The people who are not the Vulcans. I am not... Cause it... Yeah. Okay. Set of planetary coordinates. Okay, which planet are we going to though? Hopefully it's a new one and not the one that that guy already discovered. Oh, it's back on the Ilium. Ilum. Um, so that's y'all. That's not roll. That's not roll. Okay, what's roll? Hmm. Okay, roll is just when I press one of those. Okay. Alright. Slow down with LT. Well, it's certainly easier with one of these controllers. Um, land with X. I'm used to using a joystick, not these little gamepad things, so... Okay, we're supposed to go to that. I'm here. 
Okay, broken technology. Up. Okay, the sparking wires of the machine generate a signal tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher signal. 16, 16, 16. Not 42. No fuel. Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to something underground. Deployed base computer. Here we go. Now we have the blueprint for a base computer and the terrain manipulator. Terrain manipulator. And so we need to get copper. Well, that's actually with the... Yeah, that. Mm, mm, mm. Actually, it's better to do... That's silver. Better to do this with the... That's dioxide. Keyboard and mouse instead. Silver. Please let the close one be copper. Copper! All right. But we need to get a train manipulator. So... Two carbon nanotubes, one dihydrogen jelly. Okay, one dihydrogen jelly. Okay. Got that, got that, okay. Mining time. Shiny. The nice thing is the other stuff, the silica powder, can be used to power the train manipulator. It's a very effective device. No little spot of copper left. Yeah, so the silica powder can be used for it. And now we've got plenty of copper to turn into chromatic metal, so we only need 30 chromatic metal. Uh, oh yeah, space computer. Well, I mean, this isn't the worst planet ever. Hmm. It's not a very rich planet though, and it hasn't got a whole lot of critters. Sentinels infrequent, weather crisp, I mean that's not too bad, fauna's regular, flora few though. Let's see some of the other worlds in this system. Oh, we need to refuel the launch thruster. I mean we know this planet has some dihydrogen in places. Maybe I should just land again and see. But... On the other hand, maybe we should just go somewhere else. 